Well, look at Sophie and Henry's house. It is all kitted out for Halloween. And they've all got costumes on. The triplets actually have already left to go trick-or-treating, but they actually have gone without a responsible adult. We can't be doing that. They're way too little to be wandering the streets by themselves. That is very, very irresponsible. So we're going to bring them back. Come on, back you come. I know, I know we sent you off trick-or-treating. Leave your brother alone. You don't need to hit him with your bear just because you're grumpy. You need to wait for your cousin to come and she'll take you trick-or-treating. Here she is. I knew Olivia wouldn't be very long, but hold on, Olivia doesn't have a costume. Well, we gotta fix that. Welcome to LEV Toys. We are going to gather around the potion table that we made last time. And the kids are absolutely convinced that they are able to mix potions that will magically make costumes. So we will see about that. Let's see, Violet is going to have a first try and uh, Olivia's gonna be her guinea pig. So she's gonna try it out on her first. So which potions we're gonna put in first? Well, this pink one with, so blood of fly, fly blood, a little bit of that in the cauldron. That's disgusting. And maybe some of this purple one. This is liquid 3 a.m. So oh, I don't know what's gonna happen when we mix these together. Together. and just a touch of Yeti saliva. That's this icy blue one. Mm, mm, mm. This is going to be so tasty. We've already knocked Olivia over. Let's mix it all up. Hocus pocus and bubbly. Let's get it into the cup and let's see if Violet can actually convince <laughs> Olivia to drink this. All right, drink it up, Olivia. Drink it all. No, you need more. Drink it all up and let's see. Let's see what sort of costume this concoction will create. Oh, it's doing something. <gasps> something happened. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's incredible. Wow, look, she's like, she's a cave lady and she's got, she's like the hunter and the forager. She's got the club and she's got the root there and she's even got a medicine bag around her neck. I think she might be the Stone Age medicine lady. Hey, here's the other Lego Friends girls. Andrea's here. She adores Olivia's costume. It is so quirky and cool. Mia's here. Emma's here. The whole gang's here. Stephanie's here. And hold on, an Enderman is here. What a lovely piece of earth you've brought us, Enderman. Who is in that costume? Well, I suppose we're going to have to find out later because Mia is very keen to have her own costume created from some sort of fancy concoction. And it is Alex's turn. He's very excited. Let's see what he puts in the potion. So some bug eyeballs, some oh, spider venom, and for the final ingredient, some snake boogers. This is going to be so tasty. Extra snake boogers, actually. And mix it all up. <laughs> mix, 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 mix. Let's get some of this into the goblet and drink up, Mia. Hold your nose, it's going to taste awful. And let's see, whoop, hold on, she's falling over already. Let's see what happens, what costume Mia gets. Oh, there's sparkles coming. Here it comes. She is. She's a cowgirl. That's good. That is such a cool costume. She's got her lasso. Oh, and she even comes equipped with a bull. Where's she gone? Come back. She's actually roped him already. That was amazing. Wow. All right. Mia the hustler. The hustler. Is that what you call them? The call them when you're out there actually trying to rope bulls? That's such a cool costume. And she even comes with her own, her own bovine. Perfect. No one's going to mess with her out on Halloween. Okay, Andrea, it's your turn and Harry is on the case. So Harry, what are you going to put in this? Some of this fancy drink me potion. I don't actually know what this one is. <laughs> it's probably just blueberry cordial, which will be good because that will make it taste a bit better. A uh, smattering of bugs eyeball seems to be a favorite. And some, ooh, some blue bottle tentacles. Oh, that's gonna have a sting, quite literally. Okay, mix it all up, mixy mix into the goblet. And Andrea, try this if you dare. Let's see what this is going to bring. What sort of fantastic costume? Oh, the fog is, the smoke is coming. Hold on, there's bubbles, maybe from the blue bottle and smoke. And oh my goodness, she's a genie. Oh, that's just perfect. Oh, she's all sparkly. Wow, that is just a perfect costume for Andrea. 
All right. Oh, well, okay. Emma may have pushed Andrea out of the way to get over here to the potion table. She's mixing her own potions. So let's see. She's putting in some spider venom too. Didn't you see what that did last time? Actually, all the costumes have been pretty awesome so far. So it's spider venom first and some more of the blue bottle tentacles. Okay, blue bottle jellyfish tentacles. And which is going to be the third ingredient? Ah, essence of spider. Okay, so just a little dab of the spider leg in there. Let's mix it up and see what we end up with for Emma. Into the goblet it goes. And is she going to drink it? Yep, there we go. And let me see. Oh, she's dropped the glass. It's all very dramatic and exciting. Oh, oh this one's a slow transformation. Is she a bride? No, is she? Is she's an Egyptian? Oh, we can't quite decide on what headdress to. That's the perfect one. She is Cleopatra and she has got a snake staff. Oh my goodness, and an enormous snake. I actually thought it was a teeny tiny snake, like an asp that actually came and got her in the end. But oh, all right, that's a big snake. She can keep an eye on that one. Okay, Stephanie, we'll put the goblet back up here and you can have your turn. What combo are you going to mix today? So some flies blood, lovely, and some Yeti saliva. And for the Third magical ingredient, she is breaking open the eyeball. The eye of Sauron is now in here and she's mixing it up. This is not going to be pleasant. Oh, I think this one's going to be an extra special one. Drink up, Stephanie. Let me see. The smoke is gathering. She appears to have got slightly taller and she is morphing very slowly into... Oh, I like that collar. She's got enormous bat wings. And a beret? Seriously? That's weird. A bat with beret. Oh, hold on. No, she's a bat cat. She's Catwoman with wings. No, she's not. She's a spider bat. Okay, that's something out of my nightmares. That's not going to happen. She is maybe a hooded bat? No. Of course, she's Maleficent. She is the Maleficent from the new Maleficent movie and she looks magnificent. Those wings are epic and they're really, really big. They're going to knock everyone over. I actually want to see what it looks like if we swap this around and put the collar, her little feathery collar on top of the wing holder. She is very, very back heavy, so she has to stand on a cloud, which is lovely. I think I'd like to stand on a cloud. <laughs> it's going to keep her upright anyway. Okay. That's nice. That's fantastic. What a magnificent costume. Wow. So if you need a Halloween costume this Halloween, you just need to pop by the Darlington's potions table because it appears to have magical properties. I'm not promising that the potions don't taste disgusting because I reckon they probably do, but it's worth taking a chance. And now they are heading off trick or treating. You're going to take the triplets? No, you're going to take your cow. Okay. All right. Take your cow. And we're going to have to be careful with those enormous wings. Try not to knock everybody over. And Olivia is in charge of three, these three little devils. Actually, only one of them is technically a devil for Halloween. Put your pointy thing down. And I think they're all ready. You got Teddy. Pepper's got Teddy. All right. Now you can head off trick or treating. This is what you've been waiting for. Off to get all the candy and eat it and go absolutely crazy. It's a terrible idea. Oh, all right, well, let's just hold on. We forgot to find out who was in this Enderman costume. Who could be in the Enderman costume? Everybody's got a costume. This is a bit freaky. The triplets are hurrying back to find out. Who could it possibly be? Come on, reveal yourself. This is very scary. Oh, I would have never guessed that. It's Katie and her dad. Katie's standing on her dad's shoulders. Let's put them back in the Enderman costume. That is so, so cool. That is such a great costume. I did not know who was in there. Now, make sure you subscribe before you go off trick or treating this Halloween. Make sure you check out some of my other scary videos. And <laughs> I'll see you with a new one really soon. Bye.